Well, hello, my friends, and welcome again to this short meditation that I want to bring you through on regarding the Psalms. We all love the Psalms, don't we? I guess it's because they reflect everyday life and the human experience we all go through. The Psalms speak to us every single day, and we cannot read very far into the Psalms without drawing the conclusion that they are speaking direct to our hearts. And it seems like the psalmist is reading our mail from the post box or maybe even going through our emails. It's absolutely amazing to think that after centuries have elapsed, there in the Psalms we discover a man just like us who lived in a different time and culture. However, he expressed our innermost feelings, our fears and our hopes. Why should that be, we could ask the question. Well, the answer is pretty simple, really. It's because we are reading the scriptures, divinely inspired, infallible, inherent, so as to be a word from God to us today, right into our circumstances. The Psalms speak for us. It was Athanasius, an outstanding church leader in the fourth century, who reportedly declared that the Psalms have a unique place in the Bible because most of the scripture speaks to us while the Psalms speak for us. It is one thing to be able to praise God when we have, in our modern idiom, had a nice day. It's yet, however, quite another to praise God when the bottom appears to have fallen out of life. If there is any time when men and women have turned to the book of Psalms, It is in the hour of deep despair and adversity. And thus David declares in Psalm 23, The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. And surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. David, in his journeying with the sheep, met valleys. Many of these held dangers where robbers waited to steal and kill the innocent people who travelled through them. However, David put his faith in God and trusted him to keep him safe. We, in our journeys of faith, may not have robbers waiting to steal from us, but we all go through hard times, hard things in life. We all have our dark and difficult valleys to contend with. It could be even now, as you are engaging in this short meditation, that you feel like you're walking through one right now. We in our individual journeys of faith have never been promised an easy ride. But what we have been promised is that God will be with us all the time, no matter what we are going through. You know, I've discovered, as I guess many of us have, that sometimes the dark valleys in our lives are a result of our own choices. Like sheep, we wander off the right path and end up in dangerous places that hurt us physically, emotionally or spiritually. That is when God's rod and staff become a comfort to us. Just like a shepherd uses his rod to keep sheep from wandering off, and the curved end of his staff to pull them out if they get stuck in a messy situation. God will do the same for us. He will rescue us. Why? Because even when we mess up, he still loves us. So be encouraged today, tomorrow, and in the future, because he is with us in everything, and his rod and staff are always at hand. If you have been blessed by this meditation, then please honour us by subscribing to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Albert M. Martin 
WWCM. And visit our website for more resources and encouragement at www.worldwidechristianministries.org. So bless you in your journey of faith. Bless you all. Albert.